Hey, for the livestock here, we've got uh, one meat report coming out here this uh, on Friday, the cattle and feed report. This one's going to change the story here. So for several months, we've been looking at this idea of lower plantings than last year, and then, of course, that means lower marketing, lower slaughter levels coming out, and those will run anywhere from uh, the first half of this year. At this point, though, we're going to change this game. With all the excitement last uh, during March and actually most of April, on the cash cattle side, we do have cattle feeders very bullish right now, getting excited here. We saw them react pretty strongly. We estimate that they planted or that they, uh, uh, they placed about 9.7% more cattle in March than this, time, uh, than this time last year. That's the biggest placement in seven years for the month of March. So this uh, cattle feeding industry got really excited about these numbers. Uh, these numbers here, as far as it started here with this March placement, they'll be marketed uh, mostly looking April through October contracts. So we do have some information, which is going to change in the story, uh, this tight supply story. And it won't hit right now, but it will hit later on this year. As far as the near-term issue here, the simple point is we're still watching this wholesale beef market. Um, the last two weeks did show, and this is on the green line here, that Friday was the first day where we saw both choice and select beef uh, take a small drop here together. And that's the first time, and I want to say almost two weeks, that that's happened. So we might have some times that some, uh, some signs of a topping beef market. At this point, it's not enough to say we've got a top here to sell these futures aggressively yet. We're still saying these futures right now are locked in those sideways range. But uh, it is something we are watching very closely here on this cell, on this beef end here. Over on the hog side, we will point out that as far as these numbers, we've had two weeks now in a row of these uh, lower, uh, lower slaughters coming from that Smithfield, beef, uh, Smithfield pork, uh, pork plant out of Iowa, and that's shown right here by this chart. We do have maybe hogs, a few hogs maybe actually getting slightly backed up right now here. But as far as the key issues going on right now for the pork market are exciting exports, uh, exciting things like that, uh, lower than expected, uh, breeding herds, those types of issues, those are still bullish, uh, bullish remarks. One thing we all point out is from this on this chart by this seasonal graph right here, we're going to see this uh, cash hogs continue this surge, which have actually started a bit earlier than normally would. And we do have futures up higher in these mid-80s ranges for all these summer contracts. We have no problem with these premiums in here, and we think that they need to be a little higher. 87 to 88 is our target range for that uh, June contract. So as far as the hog side, fundamentals here are still losing support points. Is that all the way through August then, June through, is that, is that August or is that September? And that last fourth triangle up there, that is August, uh, that is the August contract. Uh, I actually think that might be a little overvalued, but right now the futures are, are keeping them all in line up there.